Hey Capricorn, okay, we are doing your monthly reading for May 2018. And I wanted to finish up these readings before it got too dark today. Well, I still had a little bit of sunlight left. It's a beautiful day today. So my Capricorns, let's see what's going on with you for May. Okay. If this does not resonate with you, Capricorn, please uh, be sure to, to check your rising and your moon sign. I always say if you're more of a spiritual person, um, your moon sign might resonate more. If you're more egotistical, your sun sign might resonate more because the sun is our ego. Okay. So let's see what's going on with you for this month. And your transitioning energy. All right, let's see, Capricorn. Okay, so the first week of the month, you have the Three of Wands in reverse. Yep. The second week, you have the Hierophant. The third week, you have the Nine of Cups. And the fourth week, last week of the month, you have the Page of Swords in reverse. Okay. So the overall energy for the month is the sun. Really, really good energy to have here. Um, this is really good energy to embodying. I feel like um, a lot of people feel like the sun card is the best card in the deck. It's complete happiness. It's moving forward. It's forward growth. It's um, happy relationships. And I also, let's see here. I feel like the happiness this month for you, Capricorn, is coming from you no longer maintaining or suppressing your feminine energy because these are your cards. This is the card. This is your overall energy for the month of May, which is the sun card. So you are very, you're feeling very happy. You're feeling like very illuminated. You're feeling like the uh, sun is shining on you, sun, shining on your situation. But I feel like this happiness is coming from you um you not suppressing that feminine energy, okay? You have to really get in touch with your um, your feminine side. Or I feel like you, um, this could have, to have something to do with the, the divine feminine. Maybe you were in a twin flame relationship. And I feel like this happiness is coming from, um, you know, either you not you no longer taming or suppressing that feminine energy or that connection, or you no longer suppressing your feminine energy or connection. So let's see what's going on with you. All right. So this is good. This is really good energy to have coming into the month. Very happy. Um, the sun is shining on your situation. I, I feel like you're illuminated in some way. Maybe last month you got some clarity about something. And now you're feeling happy. You're feeling bright. You're feeling warm. Okay. Maybe you got some news about a baby because there's a baby here. Maybe that was it. Maybe you just became a recent, recently just became a parent or a grandparent. So it's good. Congratulations. Um, there could be a multitude of things. Maybe you just got engaged. Maybe you just got married. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. Capricorn. All right. Mm. Okay. All right, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on for you. So the energy that you are actually bringing into the month with you, this is your transitioning energy from last month. This is the um, Knight of Cups. So I feel like um, you had some love offers come in last month. Maybe you made a love offer or maybe you're just you're just feeling like, OK, um, you're feeling more open to offer your love now. OK, I feel like you, you moved on from the page of cups. OK, kind of like figuring out what you want to do, who you want to offer your love to. And I feel like now you're moving forward in that decision. You're moving forward and um, offering your love to someone. You're 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 opening up more emotionally. Like I said, getting in touch with that feminine side of you, your emotions. So that's really, really good, Capricorn. You're starting to open up a little bit more. And the first week here, um, we have the three of wands in reverse. So I feel like the first week, I feel like you're turning your back on something or you're no longer waiting for something. Something that you were probably waiting on. Maybe you were waiting for a, um, a love relationship, someone to come back to you. In the first week of May, you're like, you know what, I'm not, I'm not waiting for you anymore. 
I'm not wasting my time anymore. I'm not wasting my energy waiting anymore. Like you are making shit happen for yourself. You're not waiting for someone to come back or you're not waiting for someone to save you. You're turning your back on something. And I feel like it, I feel like whatever you're turning your back on is going to be good for you. Um, okay, so your transitioning energy going into the second week is going to be the eight of pentacles. So you're very focused. You're working hard. This can... Um, and this could also be pertaining to some type of relationship or some type of belief system that you that you currently follow. Um, but going into the second week, you're working very hard. You're very focused. Um, you know, you're putting a lot of time and effort into your work or into a situation, relationship. Um, but what I feel like whatever this is, it's making you happy. You know what I mean? Like the um, energy that you're putting in. I feel like if this is making you happy, this is a good thing for you. Um, I feel like you're wanting to put the time and effort in whatever um, burden that you, you're choosing to carry right now. I feel like whatever it is, it's making you happy. You're happy on your job. You're happy in your relationship. Because going into the second week, we have the Hierophant. So I, I feel like maybe you just recently got married or maybe you just recently got committed into a long-term relationship or maybe you recently just got out of one. However, the, however it may go for you, I feel like you're working hard. You're really putting in the effort here. Okay, and this could also be putting in the effort. Maybe maybe you're changing your religious views. I feel like that as well. Maybe you're working hard to change your religious views, changing the way you see the world, maybe changing the way you see women, even changing the way you see yourself, changing the way you see feminine energy. Um, because Capricorn, you do represent the father. You are the father figure. So I feel like... Um, Maybe you favor male energy more. Maybe you've been suppressing your feminine energy. And I feel like in the month of May, that's coming out um, for some of you. Uh, you're working hard to to change the way you see things, change the way you see uh, religion, change, change your dogma. Any dogma that you may have, I feel like you're working hard to come out of this. Or you could just be working hard on a commitment. You're committed to something, okay? Like you're working hard and you're very committed to something, all right? So going into the third week of May, you're transitioning energy. We have the world card. So you have cycles coming to an end, Capricorn, for you, which is, this is, this is a really good, this is really going well for you so far. So you have cycles coming, you have cycles coming to an end in the month of May. You have uh, cycles coming to completion, karmic cycles, uh, karmic situations. Um, you're getting closure in situations. You are, um, I feel like you're handling your karma very well, what goes around, comes around. And I feel like, um... Yeah, something that you're working hard on is coming to a closure, okay? Something, it's coming to a complete cycle. It's coming full circle, okay? Something that you're really working hard on because going into the uh, third week of May, you have the Nine of Cups, which is coming true. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like this is about a love relationship only because you're coming into the month with the with the Knight of Cups. So I feel like this is definitely about love, emotions, opening up your opening up emotionally, being more vulnerable. And I feel like this is making you really, really happy. I mean, you have the Nine of Cups here. I feel like the third week of May, you're gonna be very, very happy, emotionally, emotionally fulfilled, wishes coming true, something that you've been working very hard on, something that you've been very committed to, putting your time and energy into every single day, working your ass off. I feel like this is this is bringing in a wish for you. You're gonna have some wish fulfillment, maybe um partying even some drinking having a good time um because you know cycles are coming to an end something that you've been working really hard on um you're transitioning energy going that's why i say it also too could be drinking as well you could be drinking very heavily here because your transitioning energy going into the fourth week is going to be the five of cups more cups energy you could definitely be dealing with um, a water sign as well someone who is embodying um the knight of cups or just a lot of water energy someone who's very emotional um you may be dealing with a lot of emotional um situations this month because um the third week we have the knight of cups and then your, your transitioning energy is the five of cups so i feel like I feel like something maybe this could I have another scenario here. Maybe something that you've been really working hard on. I feel like this is a love relationship. I feel like there a cycle comes to a, a completion and I feel like maybe you've been working hard on it. Maybe you want to be committed. You've been committed and you've been working really hard, putting effort and time in. And I feel like going into the fourth week, um, you're having some regrets. You're, you're mourning something. I feel like something went wrong. It's something took a turn for the worse and you're having some regrets. Maybe, um, you know, maybe coming further into the month of May, you were, maybe you started off, you know, opening up, being vulnerable and then coming in, you kind of, maybe you're like, okay, I'm putting too much energy towards this. Or maybe it was just like too much drinking in the third week. And you're kind of like regretting some things, maybe something you did while you were drunk. Okay. Um, because I, I see some wish fulfillment here in the third week, but in the fourth week, going into 
um, coming out of the third week, like the end of the third week of May, going into the fourth week, I see you ha you're having some regrets. So I feel like maybe it, it was something you said when you were drinking um, or maybe something you said when you were out. Um, I feel like you're having some regrets here about something that was said or something that was not said. Okay, so because um, at the end of the month, you have the Page of Swords here. And I feel like this is very immature communication, um, like because the page is very young. They're a student. He's he's just learning to use his sword. So basically, they use him for recon. You can, you know, just just stay here and be the lookout. You know, if someone comes, call us. Type shit like that. So I feel like this in reverse is like someone someone very very immature. Um, someone who's not. Um, you know, mentally, someone who's mentally blocked, someone who doesn't know how to, who, someone who's a bad communicator. And I feel like Capricorn, I feel like there's something that you did in the third week. I really feel like it's something that you did when, uh, out of being drunk, out of being like inebriated. Maybe you were drunk and you said something really immature. You did something really immature. Maybe, um, here, let me see if I can get, let's see, let's clarify that, uh, five of cups. Why is the five of cups here for, let's see. Okay, so I feel like, wow, all right, so going into um, the fourth week of May, the reason why the Five of Cups is here is because something was, something is, something is done to you that is unjust or unfair. I feel like maybe something happened when you were out and something, someone did something to you or something that you found out about someone. Maybe, maybe, I feel like, I feel like somebody goes out on the third week of May, Capricorn, and someone like, maybe you see someone out with someone else and you feel like, oh, that's fucked up. How can you do this to me? Like, how can you be out with this person? You know, like, and, or maybe you see, um, like something that a, a wish fulfillment, something that you really, really want to manifest. I feel like maybe, um, I feel like something happens that is really unfair and really unjust that keeps you from uh, getting your wish or something. Someone's trying to jeopardize your wish and do something very unfair to you, something that's very unjust and kind of under the, you know, I feel like you really need to be careful here, Capricorn. I feel like someone is trying to sabotage your happiness here at the end of the month. I feel like um, someone is trying to come in. Um, you could be dealing, um, I feel like, because justice, I feel like, I, I swear, I feel like you're going to be out, Capricorn. You're going to do something when you're drunk. This has to do with the justice system. I swear, I feel like you're going to say something stupid or you're going to do something and, you know, or someone's going to do something and they're going to get you in trouble with the justice system or something's going to happen where, um, you know, you're just being treated unfairly. I feel like you really need to be careful going into the fourth week of May, okay, Capricorn? Because I feel like someone's trying to jeopardize your happiness, your wish, um, or someone's going to get you in trouble. Like, I'm really having that feeling because this is a really, really happy month for you. But right there, that little that little transitioning energy between the third week and the fourth week, something is happening that has you mourning and having some regrets. So just be careful on um, what you're doing, who you're around, um, what you're saying, who you're saying it to. Um, maybe this is a month where you have to move in silence because I feel like you're really working hard on something, Capricorn. You're really committed to something. And um, I feel like something, someone somewhere is trying to sabotage. It could be self-sabotage as well. This could be you self-sabotaging. Okay, so just be careful coming out of that third week. I feel like something's going down there. All right. So let's see what guidance you have, Capricorn, for um, the month of May. Okay. Okay, you said you have guiding children. It's interesting. It says you are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Your skills, use your skills to help children now. Okay, so wow, maybe this is a, yeah, I feel like, yeah, uh, maybe there was a new baby that was just had. Maybe you're having a baby or maybe you're expecting, maybe someone just had a baby. Maybe, yeah, maybe like your, your wife or your girlfriend or maybe you, you are the girlfriend or wife, you just had a baby. So I feel like, um... I kind of feel like maybe your baby's going to heal you or your children are going to heal you. I feel like you should, if you have children, talk to them. I feel like they, there's something that your child wants to say to you that you need to listen to, that you need to hear. Maybe, um, you know, maybe they can enlighten you in some way. But um, what the spirit wants you to know is, you know, uh, children have healing power and you have healing power with children. So if there's children around you, use them to heal, talk to them, play with them. Be playful, be childlike even. I feel like this is even saying like harness your inner child, okay? Be happy like the child on this picture. 
you know, be happy, be bubbly. It's a really good month for you. Um, so harness your inner child, your um, your inner feminine, okay? So I really hope this helps you, Capricorn. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.